But getting today a new law makes cold and allergy medicine tougher to buy and used to make methamphetamine. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 530. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Lauren St. Germain. Tennessee lawmakers put even more restrictions on pseudoephedrine, the key ingredient in meth. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo joins us more joins us now with more on what that means. Brianna. Lauren Latricia, this new law cuts the allowed amount of grams one person can buy down to less than six grams a month. But that change also uh, that changes also the rules for people who need cold and allergy medicine for when they're sick. A bag full of ingredients is all it takes to make meth. Last year, Tennessee authorities seized nearly 1,700 meth labs and removed more than 260 children from those situations. Those are just a few reasons why it's now harder to use cold and allergy medicine to make methamphetamine in Tennessee. Sergeant Daniel Jones of Chattanooga Police tells me how a trip to the pharmacy changes beginning today. If someone keeps continuing to buy over and over and over again, then they'll have to actually go ahead and they'll, they'll They'll have to have a doctor's prescription in order to purchase over that 28 grams. That's the new limit per year. It's really a good um, approach because most of the patients that really need some, they're not going to need Sudafed that much. The 28 gram restriction is about five months worth of the maximum dose of Sudafed. So nobody can just sell the Sudafed without logging and registering that person who is buying the Sudafed into the computer. That helps keep track of who's buying. The new limit divides out to less than six grams a month, down a third from the 2005 law. Meth investigators say the new law won't fix the problem, but they say it's one more step to making smarter traps for in-state meth cookers. We also call it smurfing, where somebody will send someone else to go purchase uh, pseudo for for them. So that will also let us know who those people are as well. And anyone who needs pseudoephedrine for nasal decongestion can still get it, but they'll need a prescription if they need more than 28 grams a year. The top places that the TBI busted for meth labs included Hamilton and McMinn counties in 2012.